All right, let's go ahead and set the timing on our uh, backup 632 motor here for fire up on the dyno and just rotate it around. We're gonna start it up at 32 degrees before top dead center. So rotate it till you're at 32 on the timing mark. Okay. At that point, let's see our flying magnet is right here in this position. So we want that firing with the magnetic pickup right when it's at this position. So we'll move the, uh, the adjustment up to where the uh, pickup is exactly in line with the magnet. And we'll go back and tighten these later. Next, we're going to want to set the gap. There's an air gap between the magnetic pickup and the crank trigger magnet that needs to between, be between 50 and 80 thousandths. Line this back up. Okay. So, you take a set of feeler gauges. We got these set on 58 thousandths, somewhere right in between. Put them in between here. And then tighten up on your pickup until it's snug. And that's going to give us the correct gap. It's tough to do this one handed, but we'll get through it. Okay. And then we're going to tighten up on this nut. We snug that up. And then so our timing is set. So at top dead center, when it's firing on 32 degrees, you're lighting up number one cylinder, so it's ready to fire up first time on the dyno.